All right, little update. This is crazy. Never thought that my lifted one would end up being the lowered one and it would be like this. So I'm still in the middle of it. Before you guys see it, you can see the fender sitting right there. I gotta swap fenders probably tomorrow. But I'm tired as hell. I've been pulling everything apart. Just ate, I'm full. I'm done for the night. But I got it pretty much ready to drop on the ground. I got I got to put new tires on the wheels tomorrow, hopefully. And then hopefully I'll have an alignment by like Wednesday, Thursday. That's what I'm hoping. I want a day for the springs to settle and then do a little bit of adjustments myself. Um, so I'm hoping I'll get the tires on tomorrow morning and I will be able to get the wheels on, drop it on the ground, let it sit overnight then do a little bit of adjustments and hopefully get in for an alignment Wednesday, Thursday. But here she is. I never thought she'd have no HRG stuff on her. Other than stickers I gotta pull off and the roof racks coming off, going on my other one. She's got no HRG parts on her and this is how she's gonna look, minus a few things. So you can see the front end, no bull guard, nothing, no, no light uh, protectors. I didn't want it. I don't want to keep. I want to keep it all on the off-road stuff. RPF ones, really shitty tires, but got new tires right over there coming. Um, set for the fifth wheel. I got to get that um, tire coming for the fifth wheel. I ended up ordering one and couldn't get to me. This whole coronavirus stuff is causing a bitch for for stuff, which it's really serious. So hopefully you guys are taking it serious. No joke. Um, Hospitals get full. The shit's gonna suck. So hopefully that doesn't happen But anyways, there's the new ball joints New true heart coilovers. I haven't adjusted them yet or anything. So if everything looks weird um, There we go All right, there's kind of dark over here. I don't have any lights right now So I have to take some pictures for you guys and Close up another video. There's the spare. I'm gonna have to put probably one of my spacers on. Look how close that comes without a tire. Just put it on there for shits and giggles right now. No taillight guards. Gotta like I said adjust all the camber, all that stuff when I get it down. Is the fender off right now? There's the new intake. By the way, if you guys want a cheap cold air intake and uh, you like that kind of stuff, like I do, um, eBay, you can get an uh, EK intake. And uh, honestly, um, you can get a few better intakes, but I mean, it's just going to be my daily. Have a little bit of power and be fun with what it's got. But yeah, everything on, new rack and pinion. Everything's there. I'm gonna pull off all the lifted stickers and uh, she's gonna be lowered riding on the ground. Um, should be pretty fun for a daily. And then, uh, yeah, then probably next week or two, depending on this whole quarantine and everything's going and where stuff is. And I'll be uh, hopefully pulling out the, um, or pulling in the other CRV and I'll start putting all the parts on it. And I'll do more videos on that one of actual, um, you know, how-tos because I'll have more time with that, hopefully. Um, and I'll be pulling everything off. I think I'm going to pull the whole motor out, everything. Man, I look tired in this video. <laughs> Been at this all day and did the bigger parts today. And two days ago, I take like a day break in between because, like I said, some of my other videos, I have some medical conditions and shit with my muscles that... Cause them to lock up. So working on cars isn't as easy as it used to be for me. Um, but yeah, here's that's the update. Uh, with the other vehicle, once I have it in, I'll be doing it desert tan and a primer. Um, putting the roof rack on it. Putting the mud tires back there, you see. Oh, if I can get it right there. Doing the HRG skid plate on it. The HRG one and a half inch subframe drop. New axles. Um, I actually, sorry, I already did new axles. I put them in already. So, um, new front main seal, oil pan gasket, OBX exhaust, 
1320 um, header, uh, the unequal length header. You can see up there the spacers, the trans cooler, um, new thermostat, um, blue uh, G plus, um, all the coolant and heating lines. Uh, what are they? They that rubber um, silicone. The uh, man stuff slips in my mind every time I make these videos. Anyways, the silicone hoses. Uh, they're blue from G plus. They'll be in there. Uh, I'll be putting on the. Uh, tail light and headlight guards from Tyler um, I'll be doing another rack and pinion while I got the motor out I'm gonna order that probably next week uh, from Detroit axle again um, and then the HRG lift kit uh, the TRQ springs I'll be using those that I had on here um, and all that stuff and the over the uh, the uh, fender flares I'll be putting those on there um, and then I'll probably order from Greg some new uh, side graphics for the uh, other one. So that's gonna be a pretty sweet build too. Uh, but I'm first want to get this one down and solid. I'm pretty interested. In, I think it'll be fun because this one was always hard for me to do a lot of off roading in. Not that it wasn't capable. It did it quite fine every time I went out. Never had a problem. Other than the time I sucked up mo <laughs> water because I had no air box on. Uh, that was just my own stupidity. But uh, it's hard to beat on this one. Other than probably needing a new paint job, I've replaced everything in it. So this is going to be a little bit more fun for me as far as daily driving it and um, take care of it. And then after I'm done with this and I'm done with that, I'm done with the CRVs other than base. maybe a new part here and there. But my focus is going to the Prelude. I want that thing beautiful repainted black i want to have the h22 fully built turboed um i got a lot of plans for that thing and i want to be able to drive it i, I miss driving that thing so well this one i haven't really even got to driven much but i miss driving a prelude in a, a lowered car not just an suv but yeah guys that's it update from the channel um i'll post some pictures on instagram too i'm excited i should be driving this sucker by Wednesday hopefully if not Friday the latest so I'm really excited for that but uh, stay tuned guys thanks like subscribe help me out share anything I would appreciate that um, I can keep building these videos and start finally editing them I'll have time now with this um, and with this next project with this CRV doing a lifted I'll, I'll edit those videos and you know make some uh, tutorials and stuff like that and how to this one I just I had to get it down because we're down to one car. We sold the van and just down to one car sucks. So I had to get it done. All right, guys, have a good one.